Just because your home is your castle, that doesn't mean it needs a moat. Ditch the swimming pool renovations, along with these others. It's understandable to imagine how a swimming pool in the backyard could be a reason for a buyer to choose your home over the competition. Who wouldn't want to kick back and relax with a cocktail in the pool? But think about it. While this might seem appealing at first, the cost of installing and maintaining a swimming pool could make it more of a liability than an asset. Today, the average cost to install an in-ground pool can range between $32,000 and $60,000, but statistics from the National Association of Realtors show the typical homeowner only sees about a 43% return on their initial investment. In addition, the hassle of maintenance and the high cost of even minor repairs can make owning a home with a pool seem less desirable to some prospective buyers. Bearing that in mind, it's difficult to make a case for installing a new pool if you are looking for a good return on your investment. A new lavish master suite might make a good selling point when it comes to reselling your home, but depending on the features you choose, it could come with a hefty price tag. A major luxury upgrade including such features as a walk-in closet, mirrored walls, and custom master bath could cost as much as $125,000, and typically nets a homeowner making this kind of renovation only about 50% of their initial investment. Another point to consider is if you're thinking about reducing a three-bedroom house to a two-bedroom in the name of improving the master suite, the result could actually hurt your home's resale value. A good rule of thumb to remember is that the more bedrooms your home has, the better value it has regardless of what the master suite looks like. A brand new fluffy carpet was once considered a good selling point for a home in the past, but today things are different. Now, that soft, cozy walking surface is no longer desirable because of the increased risk that carpet fibers may harbor nasty allergens. While that alone could be a turnoff, recent environmental studies suggest wall-to-wall -wall carpeting may compromise indoor air quality, which can contribute to other adverse health risks. In today's market, adding new carpeting to your home is likely to hurt its value while possibly not even recovering the initial cost of investment. The National Association of Realtors suggests that if you need to upgrade the floors in your home, there are better alternatives. Wood floors, for example, are a great choice, offering a potential ROI of up to 107%. In general, to get the most out of home upgrades, you need to keep everything consistent, from the quality of the upgrades to the kind of renovations you make across the board. Adding a few high-end upgrades such as new appliances or a few simple renovations around the house usually will not do much to increase your home's overall value. It's also worth mentioning that luxury homes stand a greater chance of benefiting from high-end renovations only as long as they are consistent for every room in the house. Inconsistent upgrades don't translate well as far as ROI is concerned because the renovation feels incomplete. An older home with exterior cosmetic upgrades but with an older interior design looks like a work in progress, which isn't appealing to many homebuyers. In order to get the most out of your current renovation, you will need to bring the rest of your house up to an equal standard. Also, bear in mind spending more money on luxury upgrades doesn't always translate into a better ROI. According to Remodeling Magazine in its 2020 Cost versus Value report, a luxurious kitchen upgrade may recoup up to 53.9% of the initial investment, however, a mid-range upgrade could actually net even more, an ROI of about 77.6%. A home addition is another popular renovation idea that could end up working against you when it comes to higher resale values. One common mistake many homeowners make is overbuilding a house without giving consideration to the neighborhood and homes that surround it. Before plunging into an expensive home addition, consider the type of houses in your particular neighborhood and if the addition will add significant value when reselling. The cost of similar houses in a neighborhood often only have a difference of between 10 and 15 percent. So regardless of the cost of your home addition, it's highly unlikely that the value of your home will increase more than the mentioned percentages. Simply put, prospective homebuyers will not be willing to pay more than the average cost of housing in a given neighborhood no matter how fancy the upgrade. In today's world of remote work, it's tempting to take an unused bedroom or guest room and convert it into office space, but it could ruin the marketability of your home. Removing the closet, installing custom built-ins, and adding French doors might give you the workspace of your dreams, but keep in mind that while you might be gaining an office, you'll be losing a bedroom from your floor plan. This could make or break your sales potential, especially with homebuyers looking for a specific number of bedrooms. It can also decrease your property's value as you lose a sleeping space. If you must convert a bedroom into an office, consider constructing it so that it will still maintain usability as a bedroom. 
retain the closet space, and even consider a Murphy bed for guests to sleep on. Install a small desk and add a chair to a current bedroom to create a new multifunctional space. If you're still married to the idea of permanent office space, however, consider converting other areas of the home, like your dining room. While at one time the dining room played a significant part in daily life, families today use it for many things other than eating meals. It might make more sense, therefore, to convert that rarely used dining area into office space and retain your home's value by keeping all of your bedrooms intact. Creating a big garden with grand hardscaping structures can create a stunning backyard oasis, but spending too much on your landscaping could mean never seeing a full return on your investment. Instead, keep your landscaping budget to around 10 to 20 percent of your home's current value. Buyers love a good, clean, manicured lawn and neat flower beds, but prefer to put their own stamp on their new yard to make it their own. Investing in a mature flowering tree may boost curb appeal, but prospective buyers might balk at the cost of upkeep and foliage cleanup. This also means a new, expensive pergola may not be the best investment. In fact, the typical net ROI on a landscaping project runs only 20 to 30 percent. So before breaking ground on that costly patio garden, remember that sticking to consistent maintenance and basic landscaping would probably be a better bet. So what do you think? Oh, I think it's great. What a difference. I mean, this morning we came here, we had basically nothing. Now we have a beautiful landscaping and a great seating area. Adding more living space to a home is always a good way to boost its value, right? Converting an unused garage into more livable square footage seems like a no-brainer at first, but be warned, it could come with unexpected consequences. As many as 30 percent of home buyers rate a garage as one of the most important features of a property. That means eliminating your garage might actually significantly reduce your pool of buyers. Of course, depending on permit prices in your state and how elaborate your plans are, the cost of a garage conversion can range from around $5,000 to $23,000. So if you're still set on a garage renovation and willing to accept the possibility of deterring potential buyers, bear in mind the typical rate of return on a garage conversion is only around 80 percent of your initial investment. Going green by adding solar panels to your home may be a great way to offset energy costs in the future, but it's not likely to add significant value to your property. A typical residential solar system will run about $15,000 to $25,000 on average, and could take anywhere from six to nine years for the solar panels to recoup their cost by offsetting utility bills. As far as your property value is concerned, you could see a slight increase of about 4.1 percent on a median-priced home, but compared with these significant installation costs and the time it takes to offset energy costs, adding solar panels is a poor short-term investment. However, if you plan to live in your home for years to come, going solar could be beneficial for reducing your carbon footprint in the long run. Customizing your basement can be a great way to personalize your home, but it's a costly undertaking. The average cost of a basement remodel typically runs between $12,000 and $33,000, and additional features such as a small bathroom addition or a wet bar could significantly add to the price tag. If you plan to sell your home, you can expect to recoup around 70 percent of the cost of your project, but this can vary greatly. Depending on where you live, a wine cellar or a sauna might be a better choice for a custom feature expenditure instead of a neutral basement area. In the end, the key to creating the most value when customizing a basement might come from creating a more flexible use space that buyers can envision living in and that they can make their own. I just got a strike, Tamara. Oh my gosh! This is absolutely one of the coolest things I've ever seen you in like the basement. It? An on-trend bathroom remodeling project with premium finishes may feel like a smart move, but it's unlikely you'll see a full return on your money. Bathroom renovations can be pricey, and in some regions when it comes time to sell, high-end upscale bathroom remodels only recoup on average a disappointing 51 percent of remodeling costs. Permanent bathroom details like graphic tiles or trendy faucets and recessed lighting fixtures can also be a downfall for resale. If the potential buyer doesn't like them, it will take significant time, energy, and money to replace them. You also want to avoid high-tech gadgets such as smart showers and toilets that might look impressive initially, but could end up turning buyers off. Nobody wants to deal with the possibility of high-tech fails at a bad moment, or a toilet bidet that uncontrollably sprays water up like a fountain. A cozy sunroom might seem like a pleasant addition to your home, especially if you live in a climate where it would allow you to enjoy more of nature. 
But while it could be a tempting project, the construction of a sunroom can set a homeowner back well over $70,000, while the average increase in property value is less than $40,000. In addition, when it comes time to sell, buyers who might enjoy the look of a bright and cheery sunroom could find the increase in property taxes and homeowner's insurance that come with it a turnoff. They also might not love shelling out thousands of extra dollars a year in high-energy costs, brought about by the strain of all those windows on the home's HVAC system. So if you really want to add a sunroom, go ahead, just do it because you want to enjoy bringing a bit of the outdoors into your home, and not because you want to make an investment that will enhance your property's value.